My name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist and I'm going to show you how to draw glass fruits in Photoshop. So make sure you add a layer. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and draw that lemony. I'll make it smaller this time. And you're going to want it to look, okay, so now I'm going to just hold down option and I'm going to just drag it and I'm going to do a color overlay and you don't have to do this. Um, this is just a quick tip if you're, want, if you're making the same shape and just wanting to change the color. Um, so I'm going to use the lime green. So now we've got our lemon and our lime, and I'm just gonna flip it. Okay, so right now, they don't really look like much. Um, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to make the opacity different. I'm gonna change it. So I'm gonna select multiply in my, I'm gonna go to the layer that I have, click it, go up to this little bar here, and just select multiply. And this is going to make it so that my fruit is now see-through. Um, and this is the one that's on top, even though it kind of looks, you can't really tell which is in front, which is actually a really good thing. So now I'm going to go ahead and draw the bright spot. And if you want to, you can add another layer. If you want to be more of a painter, you can just you know paint right on top. But I'm just going to go ahead and add another layer, because that's I don't really like to uh, jeopardize the the um, quality of my drawing. So just draw some light based on the shape of your object. And I'm looking at my glass orb over there and realizing that they are very similar in shape. So um, it, it would really help if you had a reference. Um, but using a lighter, don't use white right away, because if you look at something that is reflecting light that's glass, it doesn't always have all, just a white light. You are going to need to um, add some more dodge color in there. Like, oh, Sorry, you're going to have to dodge it a little bit to make it a little brighter, but um, I'm going to do that right now. Go back to your burn tool and hold it down and select the dodge tool, and that's when you can uh, kind of start playing around with this right here. And you can even do it to your lemon as well, if you want right, to. So right now, it just kind of looks like a lemon painting. But that's, that's OK, because we kind of, all right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of white just to make it a little shiny. And then use the smudge tool, smudge it a little. All right, so there's your glass lemon. And then if you put your, whoops, and then make sure you merge this down so, so that it's one shape. Then you can drag your line back there. And then, honestly, you can probably do the exact same thing. You could just like copy it if you wanted to. But uh, you're just going to, you're going to do exactly what you did to that, to this. Um, you're going to burn it on the edges. Mm -hmm. 
And I really burnt that last lemon, so I'm going to try and um, burn this a little less, just so that it's a little, um, it's a little bit more realistic glass looking. And I'm just gonna. This one's actually. I'm not even gonna dodge it. I'm just gonna. Um, that up a little bit on the edges. And then I'm gonna go back in with my white, just add an extra layer on top. And if you feel like adding just some extra shine. This one's actually, this is in the front. So I'm gonna make sure that this is kind of like right here. And there you've got your glass fruit. My name is Alex and this is how you draw glass fruit in Photoshop. Thank you.